For quite a while, Mini GT has been recognized as one of, if not the best, scale diecast manufacturer in 164, and their GT500 is one of the most popular. They just simply nailed it in every aspect of the car, but now a new contender has arrived from Auto World. I've been hyping up this model for some time now. Does it have what it takes to knock Mini GT on its throne? Let's find out. But before that, I decided to make this a triple threat that includes this Hot Wheels version, an exclusive release, and they kind of redeemed themselves for this mainly of the addition of the front and rear details. Now for the comparison, Auto World has always been true to 164 scale and they are similar to Mini GT in all dimension. So that is a welcome sight. Now for, for some close-up shots, the uh, painted headlights looks incredible, black out gaping fascia, but they overlap the white stripes, it goes all the way down to the low hanging splitter, that is unfortunate. We know the actual car doesn't look like that at all. So in that area, Mini GT has done a uh, much better job. Mini GT went for a separate piece lens for the headlights, a textured honeycomb grill on both, and with the Cobra badge at the center. Both are looking pretty exquisite at the front, so that is excellent. One thing Auto World has that Mini GT doesn't is the opening feature on the hood. And just look at this. They uh, went beyond on this one. I can see the carry-on size supercharger, the uh, strut tower brace, the air intake on the front side. I mean, it looks phenomenal. Here, that uh, Predator engine is pretty sweet. And I appreciate when the hood is closed, it is not crook or anything. It sits perfectly fine. Now, coming along to this side, it has prototypical wheels finished in black. It is supposed to be carbon fiber, but I guess due to uh, manufacturing limitations, they went with the black. The spokes look super realistic. Auto World hit it right in the head on this wheels. Mini GT went with gray finish and it looks great. Don't mind the added disc brakes, but the spokes are much more narrower than the actual car. These aren't the most accurate, but it still looks nice. You can see Mini, uh, Auto World is much more realistic. The body lines are relatively good. A painted Cobra badge and defender. The windows are rolled down. We get painted details at the back. They seem to cover all the spots here, like the uh, tri bar taillights. Another Cobra badge. Uh, Mini GT went a little different with their matte black panel instead of the uh, glossy finish. Inserted lens taillights looks better. California license plates on the Auto World. The uh, exhaust tips are decent, however, they are small in comparison to Mini GT. Uh, these are more sharper and larger. A textured diffuser in both, complete with the uh, red markers. The stripes in both goes all the way down to the bumper. Now, talking about the elephant in the room, the massive rear wing. I love the fine lines and Mini GT's take on the carbon fiber. It is clean looking. Auto World is a different pattern as you can see, it's quite decent but I like the Mini GT better and the fact that the uh, side has those fine lines as well. They are similar in size so that is pretty good. But Auto World didn't even bother to put those carbon full look on the side of the wing. Mini GT comes with the uh, rubberized black plastic side mirrors while Auto World has none of it but the interior is looking precise. Yeah, it's all good here. The dashboard, the center console, the uh, cup holders at the middle, the steering wheel, it even has the uh, integrated turn signals in the steering wheel column. That is pretty neat. The air convents, pretty fantastic. With Hot Wheels putting a valiant effort this time around, it's more about Mini GT and Auto World, and with that, objectively speaking, Mini GT is still the better looking GT500. It has everything going for it. It's a little sharper than the latter, but for me personally, I love the Rapid Red paint and the Auto World, and their casting is great. But for all of you though, what do you think of this? Comment down below and I'll see you on the uh, next video.